this over on the stick. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am actually going to review this minimalist. This is the sunscreen stick. Now, a lot of you guys have asked my review on this product. I have been testing it out for quite some time and I didn't get my hands on this one because it was sold out immediately after they launched. So that's why, you know, it's taking a little bit of time to give out the review. But let's talk about this product today. So let's talk about the packaging and price first. So this is the sunscreen stick. So this is like a stick and this has SPF 50 in here. This sunscreen is formulated with, with adenosine. This has rice barn oil and vitamin E. So all these products, adenosine is really soothing for skin. Rice barn oil gives the hydration and vitamin C is an, an, another amazing ingredient that I love. So it is a broad spectrum sunscreen and is suitable for all skin types they said that now this one actually retails for 7.99 rupees almost 800 for this sunscreen stick and this contains 20 grams of product in here so this is your regular 20 gram of product uh, from minimally sunscreen and this sunscreen like your normal typical sunscreen actually contains 50 gram of product so of course the sunscreen stick has really less product in this one so yeah also the price of this is 800 so now let's talk about the application of this product i actually really like the application of this it's very easy it is not at all irritating on the skin especially around my eyes you saw i was just applying it around my eyes and my eyes did not get irritated at all. So that's an amazing thing I noticed. Another thing I do have to say is that it glides on really nicely and it gives almost like a glass skin glowing effect. It's not super hydrating or moisturizing. Like it's not something that, you know, you can skip your moisturizer for, but I feel like I immediately after applying this, I don't get any white cast at all. Like there is zero white cast. It's like you're applying a balm on your skin and there is no peeling of the sunscreen, not at all, not even near my forehead because sometimes after applying makeup, I'll see a little bit of peeling near my forehead, but that didn't happen at all. Uh, another best part I like about this is that it is fragrance free so it doesn't have any fragrance, it doesn't have any essential oils, it doesn't have parabens, sulfate, none of that. Uh, so yes, I do really like it but after application you have to leave it on for about 5 to 10 minutes, let it sink into your skin. Initially after applying this you're going to notice an amazing glow on your skin and what you can feel is that the sunscreen is sitting on top of your skin. I have noticed that give it some time like 5 to 10 minutes and it's going to just sink right in. Another important thing I do want to say about this is that I am giving the review from a dry skin girl perspective. I have dry skin and right now it's like it's not really that humid where I live like it's almost like the winter is going but seriously it's dry season still. So I love moisturizing and hydrating products on my skin. So I really don't know, uh, you know, from an oily skin perspective, I really don't know how this is going to work. But I feel like for normal skin, dry skin and combination skin, this is going to work perfectly well. Now let's talk about the performance of this product. I absolutely absolutely love 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 the performance of this sunscreen stick i feel like i did not have to go in with any kind of primer after you know for application of makeup i did not use any primer at all and you guys saw how easily it blended my foundation like i'm telling you guys i have been skipping primer uh, because i have been using this product and i don't know it makes my skin look so good even like bare skin my skin looks good after applying this sunscreen even with makeup my skin has been looking good so i'm like totally impressed with the formulation of this Another thing I do want to say is that in summers, this might feel a little bit heavy, like during the hot, humid summer, like June, July, August. 
I don't think so this is going to work that well again I don't know whether it's changing constantly my skin changes constantly so for right now I'm absolutely loving the sunscreen stick and yes it's a little bit expensive when you compare with your normal regular sunscreen but I still really like it I just think that it just works it gives me that glass skin look it looks good under makeup it doesn't have any peeling no irritation performance wise this is a plus for me so the last category we have here is a reapplication. Now why sunscreen sticks are so common these days is that it's so easy to reapply this product and I do have to say it definitely is very very easy. With my bare skin it's the easiest because of course I have no makeup on. I'll just take a tissue, wipe my face and then go in with this sunscreen and that's it. It's that simple. So reapplication on top of makeup can be a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to apply the reapplication process now because I just applied the makeup. I want the makeup to sit on my skin for at least like five to six hours. Then I'll come back and show you guys how I reapply this over my makeup. And if it looks patchy, if it's going to make my makeup look bad, how can you apply this product on top of makeup? Because so yeah, I will just come right back. Hey guys, so I'm back home actually. And now I am going to reapply my sunscreen. It's been over five hours. And yeah, this is my cute little keychain. I always like whenever I come home, they just always like to greet me. <laughs> so, anyways, it's uh, it's been some time. As you can see, this is how my makeup looks like. Again, there is no natural light. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to reapply the sunscreen over makeup because a lot of you guys ask me that. So this is the sunscreen, right? Um, and I'm going to take little bit i'm just running out of breath because i've been playing with my cats and yeah i'm just a little bit tired anyway so as you can see the makeup is still looking good and fresh so i'm going to take the sunscreen and i'm going to just put this over the makeup as you can see it doesn't look patchy nor does it move the foundation too much but i'm not saying it doesn't move the foundation at all and you can see that there is makeup on the stick so what I have noticed is that it does move the foundation a little bit but really not that much like it just uh, moves it a little bit like you can see the blush placement the blush is not really there anymore that well see but it's not looking patchy or it's not looking bad in any way this is how my skin looks up close you can see that the blush has moved a little bit but the foundation doesn't look patchy nor does it look dry nor it has moved my foundation around that much now what we are going to do here as you can see i definitely do look oily so i'm going to take my compact powder i am actually just going to set set all this so that there is no shine to my skin and it's actually very easy to apply this but of course you are wearing makeup so you have to be very careful i don't think you know even if you're wearing any kind of of you know sunscreen stick this is going to do that and this is how my makeup looks like now you can also go in with your blush because you do did lose a little bit of that blush placement so i'm going to take my blush right here i'm just going to place my blush again and this is how you can revive your makeup as well if your makeup is looking too dry go in with a sunscreen stick and just apply a compact over your makeup and it just revives your skin and also you get that sun protection too so this is how my skin looks overall and you do get a little bit of makeup on the sunscreen stick you can wipe this off with of course a makeup wipe this is how my skin looks uh, overall, I do have to say it is an amazing product to use over makeup. It is an amazing product to use under makeup. Will it be an everyday go-to essential? I feel like I have a lot of liquid sunscreen, sunscreen that I love, that I will be applying every single day. But when it comes to using a sunscreen under makeup or over makeup, then I'm definitely going to stick with this one for sure, for sure. I absolutely love it. Even though I did spend 800 rupees, I feel like there are a lot of sunscreen stick that retail for around 2000, 1000 rupees and you get really tiny amount. So I just think that Minimalist did a good job with the formulation. 
As for someone who has dry skin, I am absolutely loving the formula of this and I would totally recommend to like you guys to try this out as well if you're looking for a good sunscreen stick that you can apply over makeup. And yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know uh, which is your favorite sunscreen stick if you have applied any. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. He just wants to play. I kind of forget. He just wants to play. His name is Poco, so bye bye.